to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. Our guests this morning are two veterans of the state Senate in Tennessee. Senator and Dr. Richard Briggs and Senator Becky Duncan Massey, both with us, both Republicans. Also with us this morning, Democrat Don Bosch, who is a, also runs his own law firm, and Republican Susan Richardson Williams, who runs her own PR firm. We are appreciative of all your times this morning. And Senator Briggs, I'm going to start out on a national issue because you have a personal connection to it. Uh, you're a veteran uh, and uh, served in Afghanistan at the early stages of that war. And this week, we learned that the U.S. had pulled out of Bagram Air Fa Base, which was the key footprint of the U.S. presence in that country. Just uh, let's forget about the logistics of that and talk about the emotions that you feel as a veteran of that war, seeing the American presence there come to an end in what is America's longest war. Well, I spent six months at Bagram Airfield, which uh, was a very impressionable point of my life. Uh, and just as you mentioned, that was the whole hub for operations in Afghanistan for the, uh, for the United States military. You know, my feelings are really uh, bittersweet because uh, we had a lot of activity when I was there. Uh, we, uh, you know, I, we accomplished our mission, I think, of destroying Al-Qaeda, which was using Afghanistan as a base to train and attack our country. But, uh, you know, you think of all the sacrifices, all the people, all the money that was spent uh, at, this, uh, at this very large, uh, marvelous space. And now that we're gone, the last Americans have, have left that base. It's been turned over to the Afghan uh, National Army and the Afghan government. So it, it is uh, sort of bittersweet, but I feel like that uh, a very significant part of my life was invested in that. And I, and I certainly hope that the Afghan government succeeds uh, now that we're gone. Let's move to some state topics. Uh, more than 150 laws uh, took effect on July 1st this week. Um, but I want to start with an issue that's been discussed in the Tennessee legislature this summer in recent weeks, and that is dissolving the Tennessee State Board of Health. Some of your colleagues have said that would be a good idea. Let's start with you, Senator Massey. Do you think it's a good idea to abolish the Tennessee State Board of Health? Um, no, I think we can use, you know, the assets of the Board of Health, but uh, I do think that as an advisory board, I mean, it's you, if you look at every level of government, the president makes decisions on that are related, but he, he takes advice from his health advisors. The governor takes advice from the commissioner of health. And uh, I just think, I think we do need the Board of Health. Are, um, actually, are you talking, I, actually, I don't think you're talking about the Board of Health. I think you're talking about our Department of Health. Department of and, Health, you're right. Yeah, the, that's the, what the threw one, me off yeah. just a little bit. No, uh, we don't need to dissolve our Department of Health at all. It's, uh, I think there, our Government Operations Committee wants uh, all departments basically to be accountable to our government and not just go off on their own course. But uh, I think the, the hearing that they held in Government Operations Committee was basically just trying to um, get some air, some transparency to some things that were going on. But we absolutely, they're a vital role in our, our government. Dr. Briggs, Senator Massey, correct with her correction of me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to misspeak there. Indeed, uh, what, what's your take on that? Well, we can't dissolve the Department of Health. Uh, they do a lot more than just give vaccinations for COVID. Uh, it's the Department of Health that oversees the boards that license physicians, hospitals, nursing homes, uh, the pharmacy board, nurses. Uh, they're involved uh, in, uh, they, they run large laboratories uh, to help support our county departments of health. They have epidemiologists, uh, so they're, you know, we're not going to dissolve the, the Board of Health. I think that some of the members got caught up in the moment and uh, maybe said some things uh, that on further reflection that they regret. But uh, the, the, we will not dissolve the uh, Tennessee, uh, Tennessee Department of Health. Uh, that's just not going to happen. Susan? Yeah, um, I'll let Don ask about the uh, constitutional carry bill because I know it's one of the things he uh, loves to talk about. 
But another controversial bill that passed was um, that required burial or cremation of aborted fetuses. And the Indiana um, had a Indiana had a case about that, and the Supreme Court there upheld that they were able to uh, pass that law. And so, I guess what where did that come from? What are, why are we doing that? Uh, did you guys support that, or just talk a little bit about that? I mean, your your doctor, Dr. Briggs, uh, is that something you you would support? You know, quite frankly, I can't remember how I voted for it. I think I probably did vote for it uh, because I don't think it's, uh, you know, I don't think it's, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, that big of an issue is a tissue needs to be handled properly. And this is the, you know, the tissue of an unborn human. Uh, and, uh, and I think it needs to be uh, handled properly. It shouldn't just be discarded in a waste paper basket. Uh, and I don't really want to get into the whole abortion issue, but, uh, but it, it needs to be handled respectfully, and whether it's burial or, uh, or some sort of cremation or, or incineration, uh, and it is human tissue, it needs to be handled uh, respectfully. Okay, I get so that. So, Dr. Briggs, Becky. It, 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 I'm sorry, go ahead. I'll let Becky answer. Go ahead. I was just going to, Becky, you want to comment on that? Well, I mean, I agree. These, you know, these are preborn babies, and uh, and I think to to show them the respect, they should have a, a proper proper burial. Okay. So, um, Dr. Briggs, I, I'm concerned, and, and you and I are friends, and have some of these heated discussions once in a while. Mm -hmm. You work in the medical field, and you know that human tissue, whether it be things removed in ordinary surgeries or an abortion are not thrown in a waste paper basket. My concern with this bill is it really just becomes more of a shaming mechanism for the women that make the difficult choice to exercise their constitutional right to have an abortion. I I'm just wondering, why do we keep having to wrap ourselves and conservative legislators, legislator, legislations like Tennessee, why do we have to keep wrapping ourselves in, in these, these dogmatic issues and with language just like you used and we on the democratic side consider you a a moderate thoughtful republican i don't know where i don't know where it came from uh you know it was a bill that came up we quite frankly spent very very little time on it you know my interest uh, in the legislature is going to deal more with jobs health care uh, education to prepare for good jobs putting our state in a posture where businesses and industry and manufacturing uh, with high, you know, for high paying jobs will come to our state, having our young people and our citizens prepared for those jobs. Uh, you know, that's where my primary interest is. I, I don't know where the bill uh, came from. I don't recall us spending a lot of time on this uh, on the Senate floor. Uh, Senator Massey may have a better recollection of that than I do, but uh, uh, I, I will say that my uh, primary interests, uh, you know, are elsewhere. We're going to take a quick break on Inside Tennessee and come back and talk more about some new legislation in effect on July 1st. We'll be back right after this.